Hey there, it's me Ilham, uh, welcome back to the fourth episode of All Things BSPWM. Today, I'm going to be covering everything about display managers and how to configure them. As well as better lock screen, which is a lock screen tool. An extremely lightweight lock screen tool. First of all, what are display managers? Well, in simple terms, a display manager is a program that provides a graphical logging capabilities for your... Linux or BSD distribution. It controls user sessions and manages user authentication. Display managers start the desktop environment or window manager, which in our case is BSPWM, right after you select the user you want to log in as. Root login is inaccessible unless you modify the display manager config to allow root login. Also don't worry, I just customized a bit, like just so I can like have a comfortable video area. Don't worry. I'm going to leave the DOT files in the description if you want it. Anyway, in this video, I'll be using LightDM because it's extremely minimal. LightDM can also use various greeters, aka login screens, which are highly customizable with themes. I won't show how to theme LightDM today. It's going to be for another video, which is going to come pretty soon. LightDM is available in almost every single distro's repositories, including the Arch repo. And what's better lock screen? Well, it's a fast and pretty good looking lo lock screen for Linux and BSD systems with pretty nice effects. By pretty nice, I mean extremely nice effects. Also, let me install while I explain everything. Better lock screen. Better lock screen isn't in the default repositories of most Linux slash BSD distributions though. You're gonna either you're going to either have to clone get clone the source code and run install the install sh script shell script or if you're using Arch install it from the AUR using an AUR helper which in my case is EA as you can see. I'll leave a lot better lock screens GitHub repository in the description down below if you all are interested. Also, I'll be installing the LightDM WebKit 2 greeter package instead of the LightDM GTK greeter because it is so, so highly customizable. I wish I could show you my LightDM, but, you know, it's just going to cancel out the footage, <laughs> which is going to be uh, really annoying because I do not want my footage to be corrupted or else it's just going to be the definition of pain for me. Anyway, as I'm going to be installing like DM WebKit 2 greeter package, I also recommend you to install like DM WebKit 2 greeter if you're going to be following along with this tutorial. Anyway, as better lock screen installs, it's going to be Oh yeah, I forgot that like it just get clones and then builds it from source. Well. Also, Please be sure to let me know how your day is going and this and the comments. I'd love to, uh, you know, see everything. I want to know everything. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, once this finishes compiling, I'll be right. Okay, it's about to be finished. It's yeah, it's finished. Well, almost entering fake root. Yeah, it's done. All right, so. Now I'm going to be installing the LightDM WebKit 2 greeter. I hope I spelled it correctly. If I yes. Anyway, I'll be right back once this package has finished installing. Alrighty, so the package has finished installing. Now let's see LightDM in action. Let's quit out of our start X session. If you have forgotten the key bindings of the key binding to exit out of the session, it's super alt Q. So before we actually start the LightDM daemon, let's create a symlink of our X in RC with a file called X session, which is read by display managers. Although display managers usually use a session desktop file in users user sessions, I think. No, it's user share X sessions which we can usually choose at the login screen. But they seem to also read accession in some cases, like the accession file I was talking about. So 
check the description for more details. And don't worry, a symlink is a symbolic Linux slash Unix link that points to another file or folder on your computer or directory or connected file system. Think of it as a Windows shortcut. They point to another file or directory, so you know, so you can continue adding up processes in your X and RC without worrying. To create a theme link, we're gonna have to execute ln sf dot x in it rc and then dot x session. There you go. The uh, link has been created. Now follow what I'm gonna be doing in slash etsy slash light dm doc light dm slash light dm dot com. Wait, what? I want to do this. Oof. <laughs> So I'm going to do vim lightdm.conf. So let's let me find the C group. The C group. The greeter. 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 Where is it? Session wrapper. Greeter wrapper. No, I don't want greeter wrapper. Greeter setup script. Wait, where is the greeter session example? Greeter session. It should be. Okay, yeah, that, that's the session wrapper, yes. But where is the greeter session? Wait, 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 give me a sec. Greeter session. Yeah, okay. I was just being dumb. <laughs> oh, well, alright, so greeter session example. Okay, yeah, it's this one. I was just being dumb <laughs> and blind. Wait, I think I forgot to sudo. Yeah, I forgot to sudo. sudo vim lightdm.conf. Oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot I installed NeoVim instead of Vim. <laughs> Alright, so it's gonna be a greeter session. And down there, let's let's find this. Yep, let's edit this out. Greeter session equals to. I'm gonna be adding instead of GTK GNOME. I'm gonna be adding this instead. Light DM WebKit to Greeter. Greeter. Wow. Anyway, let let's save the file and exit Vim, Nano, and even whatever you're using. Let's now start the light DM daemon by executing sudo system ctl enable dash dash now light dm if I can even spell. Now hope and voila! Light DM has started. Let's log in and see if everything works as we set it up to. Let's select bspwm and uh, let me enter the password. And everything works. Let's go. Epic. All right. Time to set up better lock screen. Let's first uh, download a random Google image because why not? <laughs> Damn, it actually worked. Also, sorry that I swore. <laughs> Dang. Really happy though. So let me just search up uh, Japanese while well, Japanese Nord because why not? Japanese Nord is a noise project. Yeah, I don't care. Japanese Nord wallpaper. Also, sorry for the background noise. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Which one looks nice? You know what? I'm just going to do Nord wallpaper. <laughs> and find a nice Japanese looking one. I know there's a Japanese looking one. Looks really good, but I can't seem to be finding it at the moment. Eh, you know what? Uh, let's just use this. Let's just use uh, this as an example for today. It's uh, the Nord thing. So save as image. Uh, home. I'm just gonna save it and download. <laughs> now then, once it has finished downloading. Yes. So now, 
let's open the terminal and write better lock screen dash u download then the wallpaper we downloaded which is uh what is it one five yeah nord peaks up png it it's as you can see better lock screen has started loading the image and it's rendering it for our resolution effects and it has finished nice now let's create a hotkey for our better lock screen in our sxhkdrc file so vim the config sxhkd sxhkdrc let's scroll all the way to the bottom and from there let me go into edit mode and insert super wait first of all let's add this so we know lock screen and then now it's gonna be super plus x and below that let's write better lock screen dash l and the dimbler effect let's save the file and now let's reload sxhkd by hitting super and escape i think it has a uh, you know fit saved so now let's do super x and see if it works there we go the image and effects have loaded and now we have a working lock screen and a display manager let me enter the password and see if it works and it does if y'all followed my steps exactly, y'all should also have a working lock screen with the image and effects rendered just like mine. Anyway, that's about it for today's episode of All Things BSPWM. If you if you enjoyed and found this tutorial useful, please be sure to leave a like and comment what you'd like to see in the future of videos. And also, please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to support me and help me grow in the Unix tubing community. The next video is going to be about setting up a screenshot utility and Bluetooth, and will most likely be the last episode of the series, unless you guys want to see something regarding setting up BSPWM for daily usage. And also, special thanks to a friend for helping me plan out the making of this video, especially the part where the files and you know where the files and user share accessions is what most display managers read. But in some cases, the more traditional accession is also partly read, partially read. Anyway, have a good evening, folks, and I'll see ya next time. Peace.